let's talk about where do you think Desi might be coaching as of next year. This is very interesting because there's four jobs, uh, desirable jobs up for grabs. There's the Titans job, uh, there's Warrington Wolves job, there's New South Wales Origin job, and there's the Bulldogs job now, mm. of course, which, of course, Des are not going to rehire Des. Well, who knows? Maybe they will. <laughs> uh, t- uh, look, here's how things are at the moment. Well, 1.2 million a year here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to hear about the Titans. There's word starting to go around that that Kevy may end up going oh. to the Titans. He's, he's been Basically, he, he's their preference, the Titans, and then they're looking at Madge. Yeah. That's how things are panning out there. Uh, the other one with the Bulldogs is... Dean Pay, there's like he is the favourite, but also there's Madge sitting behind him there. Mm. You got Warrington Wolves on top of that, who their preference was Madge all along, but Madge had a meeting with the Warrington Wolves and sort of said to them, but that he would rather stay in Australia, that he would always be their second pick, mm. which didn't go over too well there. Maybe that's going to be Garth Brennan. I don't know about that. Uh, and I, and then you got the New South Wales Origin coach. I would I, I would suggest at the moment where where Brad Fittler is the uh, is the favourite to coach New South Wales, I would say that the biggest chance of Des coaching next year will be the being the Blues coach. Mm. Now I, I don't know where that sits at the moment. Ray Dib, who is on the Bulldogs board, who even though he sacked Des has got a lot of time for Des, is on that board, and, I, and, and it's been discussed for a while that he. He's looking at Des there, but others are looking at Freddie. So I, I don't know. I, I I actually think, you know, I, I think Des, I know Des, Des is a workaholic. Des wants to get straight back into it. I, that's what, you know, he's never said that to me, but people around there say he wants to continue to coach. But I sort of think sometimes with Des, 12 months off wouldn't hurt Des. Des is, mate, he's a workaholic. Mm. You know, he... He's he's right on the cold face all the time, and sometimes when you're like that, twelve months off is really good for you. But but there, whenever there's a coaching job and people are offering big money, then I imagine that he'll coach. MG, what do you think? Uh, Origin. I, I think he's he's custom made to coach Origin for a short to- a short period of time. His intensity is what we need at the moment. We need somebody who's a disciplinarian. The whole system needs a complete overhaul, mm. and I think Des, given away, g- given time away from that structure of being in the 26 round competition as a head coach yeah. could be both beneficial to him yeah. and to New South Wales. Mm-hmm. So in terms of the, this coaching um, merry-go-round, Maddie, as soon as one person, as soon as Madge by the sounds of it makes a decision, then everything else will then fall into place. Yeah, well Warrington are going to make their decision uh, soon. within the week and that was said at the start of the week. So Warrington wants... You know that sort of falls into place. Things will start to, but oh, I think the Titans' jobs, Kevy's, if he wants it, mm-hmm. it's up to Des. I right, Kevy, and I think Kevy's sort of mulling that over at the moment. I would say, uh, I, I think at the Dogs, I, I, I am almost certain are going to be doing pay mm-hmm. with Jimmy Dimmick as he, as an assistant, I, I like- and I would actually have Chris Anderson <laughs> no. involved behind the scenes because he knows he knows. His, as much about Bulldogs culture and what they're trying to re, you know, re-establish there as much as that as anyone. See, to me, to me, that is the best scenario that the Bulldogs could face. Yeah. Dean, Dean Pay, Jimmy Dimmick, and as an overseer, yeah. Hopes, Hopes Anderson, who That's, is yeah. Bulldog through and through. In my word. James Graham, yesterday, uh, last night on NRL 360, great show on Fox Sports, uh, he had this to say. Let's not forget what the club went through in order to get Des there. He's made the finals every year except this year. Exactly, and you know what? As a captain, as a part of the playing group, we've got to bear some of the burden of that. I, I, I do feel like we've probably let Des down a little bit. What do you know, think there was the fallout then between Des and the club? Why, 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 why could the club not see what Des was doing or why could Des not deliver what the club was after? Well, the club was after a premiership and so was Des. His quest for a, a premiership became almost dogmatic. There was no stone left unturned. His analytical side of the game was forensic. There was not much more he could have humanly possibly given. Wow. Spot on. There's no doubt about it. Wow. Like, not just quest for a premiership, a quest for continual success. And I, I, I tell a story of the time about Des. Des used to live a couple of doors down from me. After the grand final in, that, in 2008, when they beat the Melbourne Storm 40-0, um, his wife was driving down the road, Chris, and I said, Chris, congratulations, um, mate. Yeah, how good? I said, uh, pass on my best to Desi. Tell him well done. What's he up to? Is he over having a beer with the boys? And she said, Matt, he's he's in the office and he's doing the video. Wow. This yeah. is the morning yeah. after the grand final win. Yep. It's like he's wow. hardwired. <laughs> I, I've got, I've got a big, just, just quickly on that, um, I've got a really drama, big drama with James Graham. Like front row was 
20 years ago could say two words, beer and pies, yeah. he's saying dogmatic and forensic. Like, yeah, yeah. How haven't we changed Come on, that's mate. Good. Pull hasn't your the landscape yeah. changed? What, what about him and his love for the Bulldogs? I'm, oh, I'm, gonna yeah. find, I'm yeah. not even a Bulldogs, Bulldogs supporter. I'm going to find it hard watching him in the, another jersey. The Dragons have got a beauty there. Yeah. yeah. For three years, he's going to build that back up. The Thanks big lot, question boys. remaining, can we get Des Hasler to the NoBS Grand Final oh. lunch? Oh. Now, There'd well, be some stories there. We've got to ask now. him. We'll see if he, we can get him along. The Grill Team, Gus, MG and Matty Johns.